Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyla for those of you guys that do not know. I don't really know how to categorize my channel and I don't like to put myself in a box. So we do a little bit of everything but I am a licensed esthetician and that's what today's video is going to be about. A few months ago, I think it was maybe three or four months now, I posted all about esthetician school and someone in the comments asked for me to do an update. A little update just on what has happened since then i think when i made that video i had just graduated and i believe i took my first state board exam and i passed so since that last video i ended up taking the second part of my state board exam august it was the end of august it was the practical part and you guys i passed Woo! officially became a licensed esthetician like the end of august practical was so nerve-wracking i was so so nervous and it's hard to go over the practical because it's so involved and there's just so much like stuff like you guys know if you're studying for your practical there's just like a lot of steps and a lot of material and it's hard to fully go through the practical and like waste all that material and everything like that so i was pretty nervous about that but i ended up passing and i knew my results by so i took my exam on my lunch and i knew my results by the time i got back to work so super fast super exciting and then a couple weeks later i got my certificate in the mail and I was just so excited like for me this is the first time in my life I've actually completed something and like like completely followed through so it's just really cool to me that I'm a licensed esthetician <laughs> So last time we talked, I think I did tell you guys that I had got the job at the dermatologist's office and I was a receptionist there, like transitioning training into a medical esthetician. So about that. And I really met like a really amazing esthetician and she taught me so much, like she taught me so much stuff and I'm still there and I like it there. I like the people that I work with. Um, I feel like I'm getting a lot of like knowledge, but I don't really feel like I'm getting as much experience and I don't really want to go too deep into that because it's no like drama at all. It's literally just I think it served its purpose and its season in my life and I'm very grateful for it. So what's next for me is actually going to probably be my next if not like two videos away. I want to share it with you guys and I'm actually making a separate video to share with you guys. So yeah. Oh I wanted to talk about um how I'm feeling about being an esthetician, like confidence, do I feel like I know what I'm doing? And honestly, I've learned so much at the dermatologist's office and I'm so grateful for the experience that I got there because working at a dermatologist's office, you just see so much more. Um, like you just see so many skin conditions and problems, even like cancers and how to spot them. It's really nice having like a dermatologist and a doctor there to back you up and just like kind of just being there and helping you with anything. It's really, really nice. I do feel like I have gained a lot more confidence since being out of school and kind of just finding my own rhythm and my own way of doing things and just a lot more knowledge. I feel like I said this in my last video, but I definitely feel that esthetician school prepares you for your state board. And then you kind of start learning when you get out of school is kind of what I've put together from my experience and I've talked to a couple other people. I think you really start learning and becoming your own esthetician with your own ways and own like patterns and ways of doing things once you get out of school because you have like the foundation knowledge but then you 
finally get to be an individual when you aren't under the constraints of like rules and regulations of a school and institution and things of that nature you kind of can like figure out what works for you and figure out products and skincare and ingredients and things like that and I definitely think that I really love the skin part like I have some friends that love waxing or you know like have their little niche 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 is it ni niche my niche my niche I think is skincare like I really have a love for actually transforming skin um Especially because 80% of like your skincare journey is done at home and then 20% is like with your esthetician, dermatologist, skincare professionals, things of that nature. So I really enjoy like skincare routines and coming up with skincare routines that match individuals. I really enjoy product knowledge and ingredients. That's just like my thing. I really love learning about it. I really love the science and chemistry behind it. That's something that's always been really really interesting to me and it still is extremely interesting just like and even <laughs> and even like as I'm learning more how like so much stuff is like literally just marketing and not really true like just like it's just crazy just even like um like organic and stuff like that like a lot of that stuff is basically just marketing i just think it's really cool to keep learning and furthering my education and i really love that about this field i've been in it for four months <laughs> let me pump the brakes but yeah one thing i'm really loving is there's always just like continuing education there's always new machines new devices new procedures new services that are coming out and you just continue to learn and i think that's so cool it's something that i really really enjoy about the industry going forward want to focus a lot more on that and incorporating that into what i do in this industry and i will be showing you guys how i'm going to do that very very soon so stay tuned for that all in all that's my little update i hope that helped um some of you guys actually like left me some comments down in the comment section of my last video and i think that's so cool like some of you guys were starting esthetician school i just think it's so cool and one thing i really wish i did was appreciate the moment i feel like that's just like how life goes but I really wish I appreciated it like it was such a cool experience school it was such a cool experience and I met such amazing people and I actually like saw one of my classmates she actually goes to the dermatologist office that I work at and I saw her and we were just talking and, and then it just made me start thinking like school was so fun it was so cool it was just like hanging out with our friends every day and even when it was so annoying like we would all complain together and it would just be so fun but yeah i really wish i appreciated it a lot more so if you are going to school thinking about going to school to become an esthetician i would really say appreciate it it's really hard and it's kind of grueling especially if you have other responsibilities on top of school like i was working full time it was very emotionally and physically draining and exhausting but it was definitely a one-of-a-kind experience and i'm very grateful for it and i wish i would have um found ways to appreciate and make the best of it in the moment because i'm so happy like the people that i met the experiences even like the educators like i just looking back feel very grateful and i'm really happy for that experience so if you're going into it just try to like be in the moment find the positive like you know make good friendships that would be like my little takeaway from this video but yeah that's really like the update and i will obviously keep you guys updated throughout this whole journey and me finding my place and my niche and like where i fit in in this industry i Feel like the esthetician community on youtube could be a lot bigger a lot better 
um so you know we're here like i just want to create a community where we're all here to help each other there's no competition like we're helping each other we're lifting each other up so yeah if you guys have any more questions or anything like that let me know down below i hope to see you guys very soon hopefully it's not in another three months <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video subscribe so that you can see when i post more and if you have any questions please let me know if you guys want to see any other different kind of videos let me know that as well because i am literally here for you to share my journey with you we can share our journeys with each other and yes i'll see you guys in the next video